YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another one. Hey, we woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the most high, man. Let's get it. Hey, dog, what makes you valuable? What makes people want to continue to be in your life? Why people want you to continue to be a part of their life? Why you're in the circle? Why you're in the organization? Why you are with this certain woman? It's your replaceability. How easily is it for them to replace you? If it's easy for them to replace you, they will replace you. As soon as you start making mistakes, as soon as you start acting out of pocket, or as soon as they stop having patience with you, you will be replaced and you will be quickly kicked to the curb. That's with in the business world, that's within the market, and that's with relationships, personal relationships. Because we're all flawed. There's always going to be something that where we're not fully good at. But people are willing to deal with our flaws and willing to love us throughout those things and have patience with us if we become irreplaceable. You know what I'm saying? Like, how that one kid that was on the football team that was bad as hell, but he was so cold at football, the coach gave him any shot that he could, stretching his patience, trying to make sure he could stay on the field, doing whatever he touched. Because why? Because he was so cold on that field because he was irreplaceable. He knew that if I, if he was not to play, there was not going to be a substitute that could easily do what he did. But say, for example, there was some player that was mid and he started getting in some trouble and stuff like that. Bro, they quickly would have been like, all right, next man up. I already got somebody that can be just just as good as you okay, that's doing everything. Why? Because you're not doing nothing special. You're not doing anything that's non-common. If it's common, that means somebody else can do it. If your skills is common, you're not special. And so we have to understand that we, when we're, just, when we're improving and what, what we're trying to do, it's not like we're trying to get to an end goal or something like that, but we're constantly improving, trying to become scarce trying to be less scarce where people can look at us and be like oh i don't want to get rid of him he he got some skills or oh i, I don't want to lose my lose him because he look how valuable he is look how how my life has changed and he's such a good man and yada 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 you know what i'm saying think of it like you know as as y'all go get y'all haircuts you know what i'm saying every two weeks which y'all should be doing you know I, that's the first thing Let's, let's talk about that. Y'all don't need to be walking around with no patchy beards. Y'all need to be coming out here with some, beard, some beards that ain't lined up. Or walking around with haircuts where you got hair growing on your neck, connecting your back hair to the hair that's on your head. You just got hair everywhere, bro. Like, groom yourself every two weeks. Definitely don't go a month without grooming yourself, bro. Take care of yourself, dog. But anyways, back to the video, dog. You go to that barber over and over because why because he offers a unique experience his experience is not the experience he has while you are getting your haircut is not like the experience of other barbers if it's like a other barber that just said here bro sit in a chair here i am i'm gonna do 20 minutes on your haircut you 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 might when you get out the chair you might say it's all right he didn't make you feel welcome didn't make you feel special didn't want to incentivize you to come back asking for more but that was this one barber that offered you this unique experience talked to you made you feel welcome when you got out the chair you felt fire you felt confident why because that cut was fire bro oh i'm gonna keep going back to him and you kept going back over and over and over and then when even when they said hey my prices is going up you still gonna keep going to him why because they offer something experience you knew that if you could if you go and you try to go somewhere else and get that same experience it wasn't gonna happen Happen. It wasn't going to be the same. What has happened? That barber has worked on himself to get to that point where he became irreplaceable. Ladies, when you go get your hair done, you go to the same girl that do your hair. You go to the same woman that do your braids. You don't trust nobody else to do your braids because why? Because they don't offer that same experience. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can braid hair, but this one person right here, she braids hair a certain way to the point where she like, I don't care. I'm going to her. Oh, I need to. Oh, the appointment, the only time slot you got is 10 p.m. Uh, yeah, that's going to be inconvenient, but it's worth it. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm going to make it work. Why? Because she made herself irreplaceable and i want y'all to make yourselves irreplaceable whether or not you think if you guys are in the workplace and you guys are going through through your life and your day to day nobody should ever have the thought of bro i don't know i don't think we can trust him or i don't know man we 
we could probably go without them. I want them to be in dire need of you. I want them to realize that if you took a day off or the second that you said, bro, I'm done, understand that everything will collapse around you, around them. I want them to want to need you, bro. If they don't ever need you, they'll quickly get rid of you. So guys, I need y'all to embrace your individuality. Part of the reason why y'all aren't re irreplaceable is because y'all doing the same thing as everybody else. If it's a hundred of y'all all looking the same, all dressing the same, all got the same skill set, got the same type of money, if if, if a chick got a hundred of y'all in her DMs and the second you start acting up, bet she gonna replace you. The less patience she has with you, the less willing she's willing to go through with you. I need you guys to understand that if you guys are trying to fit in, trying to dress like how everybody else is dressing, it's okay to be inspired by people and what they got going on. It should inspire you to be the first version of yourself and to put your own mark where you embrace your individuality. When you see somebody that inspires you and is dressed a certain way, you don't got to copy them and try to fit into what they doing, bro. But it should let you know that, man, he putting that on, bro. He looking right. He getting his business together. He looking right. He getting his haircut every two weeks. He trying to look cold. His confidence is just exuding off of his body. I'm going to try to be a version of that. I'm not trying to be a clone of that, but I'm going to be inspired. I'm inspired to be the the best version of myself the reason why you keep getting dumped and you keep getting left behind is because you a, you a clone bro you is a clone you do the same thing everybody else do you do the same hobbies you do the same thing every weekend you uh you drink the same drinks as everybody else you don't ever offer no unique experiences bro hold on man but man don't complain when you don't get anything extraordinary. You don't get no sort of out, outstanding results. You'll get the same thing as everybody else going through. You'll go through the same exact problems as everybody else is going through. Bro, is there such thing as special treatment? Yes. And then you, instead of you being on the sidelines, hating on that person that gets getting special treatment, understand that special treatment is never going to lead the game. It's always going to be part of the game. So you can either... Sit there on the sidelines crying and watch him get special treatment or you can do whatever is necessary for you to get the special treatment. I'm not telling y'all to go kiss nobody's butt or anything like that, but I want y'all to be irreplaceable. I want y'all to stop trying to fit in. Stop trying to be like everybody else. I want you, your friends, you and you in the group of your friends, none of them work out. Cool. You need to be the only one that's working out. Why? Because when they all look at you, when they look at all four of y'all together, for example, you the one that looks different. There's something that speaks that stands out about you. Oh, let me come over here next to this friend group, not because I want to be with the friends, but it's somebody within the friend group who I'm trying to get to. Bro, y'all all seen that one chick that y'all saw in the friend group where you see probably three of them that you don't really care for, but there's that one, that one that's special. Why? Because she looked different, because she was doing stuff different. She wasn't doing the same thing probably as the other friends. She probably wasn't wearing the same thing. When you stack up and you look at yourselves compared to your friends, what sticks out about you? Whenever they come look at you, bro, or when the girl looks at y'all friend group, is she the one? Is she looking at you as in like, oh man, some I got to know him, or she, or she the, or you the last option within the group? Why? Because you so common. You look like everybody else, average and ordinary. And part of the reason why is because you trying to fit in with everybody else, bro. You don't got to wear tees like everybody else. If that's not your style, wear, wear, wear a button down, wear a polo or something like that. And don't let nobody try to clown you and try to try to play you and act like that's lame or something like that. Bro, you being yourself. I think that's the coldest thing you could possibly do and being confident in it. They all wearing, they all wearing casual clothes. Cool. Your spin of casual may be a little bit different. But you want to know something? I bet you'll stick out. I bet you'll be looked at as in, man, he he does something different. Stop going on the weekends. Stop going to the clubs. Or stop doing going to the spot that your homeboys got to go to. Go somewhere different. Drink something different. Hold yourself to a different standard. Then you'll start getting the special treatment. Don't complain about the G that's over there getting the special treatment. That's getting all the benefits and everything from it. Don't complain about him, bro. 
don't complain about it because that's always going to be a part of the game. There's always going to be that student that's in the class that's going to get the special treatment. Why? Because the teacher like him. The teacher understands that he does something. He brings some sort of at, uh, presence to the atmosphere that she likes, that she that she enjoys. And she wants to let it be known to him that, hey, I, I value your presence here. Y'all over here, he's, he always gets the special treatment. Or he, he gets to turn his homework in late. Hey, hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, bro. Be be that type of person that people are willing to be more patient with you. Be willing to let you slide. Not necessarily saying that you intentionally trying to uh, be malicious towards anybody, but understanding that nobody will ever have the thought of making sure that you, or ever have the thought of you leaving their life or you going away. Why? Because. You bring something unique. She won't leave you if she knows that if she her next man will will not be something like you. When if she was if the thought of her leaving you came into her head, she will under she needs to understand that there will be another guy that will do the things that he does. The corporation, the organization, they need to understand that if we do not meet his terms if we do not value him if we do not show appreciation to him and if he leaves he will leave a hole in this office he will leave a gap here we need to come to terms and make sure that he has everything he needs we need to give him the special treatment why because he's got the special skills that nobody else can do that nobody else can replace and you want to know something about that guy that's in the organization you know something he you think he cares about Oh, why are you over here working extra? Or why are you doing that? You think he care about what those people are saying? No, he's doing what makes it work for him. He's doing whatever makes him more irreplaceable. You're going to have people that's not going to be in agreement or don't see why you're doing the things you're doing. Cool, let them. Let them do it. Let them. Let them keep talking. And then let the results speak for themselves. And then let them wonder how they can become like you. Let, them, let you be an inspiration to their life, dog. So... Fellas, stop trying to fit in, embrace who you are, and just be the coldest version of that person of yourself. Just be colder. Just be colder. Don't try to fit in. That's all I got for y'all boys. Make sure y'all like and share. I'm going to holler at y'all.